Okay. Hi guys, today we are going to discuss the special anniversary box 2021 cards as revealed by the Dragon Ball Facebook today. And uh, here we have Elski. Hello, everyone. Pro An. Hello. And QJ. Hey guys. To talk to you about the cards that were revealed and uh, how you can use them to upgrade the current meta or the current decks that's already out. So, uh, shall we start with uh, Pro An on uh, Sugesh Power of Unity? Uh, this card reminds you of the old Sugesh. It enables you to cheat up stuff. And Those this, were the days, man. Uh, yes, this is man. pretty good because you cheat up 5 costs for free, technically. And the Bardock that you can play with this are very good. The the Mono Blue Bardock, you, when you play in rest mode, he has barrier 25k. Then when he restand, your opponent needs to bottom deck one card. So yep. The TBO 2 Clash of Fates Bardock as a... Yep, and you can, play, you can play this during opponent turn, you can play this during your turn. So it's pretty right. gay if you play it during your turn because after you play he combo him out for free. And you're at 4 energy. You can play Torah Unbanned and withstand him. And you can double strike. And Torah Unbanned draws you 4 cards. So so it's very efficient and very good for the deck. So I think you can play 2 off in any battle crew you're planning to play. I mean, technically you can play on opponent turn and get good value off it since it's going to go to your turn, untap, and your opponent's going to drop cards. So well, I, f I saw another viable target as like, you know, the expansion cards that were actually released along with it. You can actually play out that card for free also. Ah, that one uh, also yeah. can. Yes, uh, correct, the correct. Spirit boost one. Yeah, and so... When you do attack, you can, you can minus marker to withstand your leader. It's also yeah, not a bad correct, choice. Correct. It, is, it is not a bad choice also. So, like, the amount of plays that is available is it's actually pretty wide. And oh. the, the only limitations that I feel is that uh, it, it's only strictly for uh, mono blue. So, like... It's kind of a pity that you cannot see like the 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 five drop like multi color battle to be able to be played off the skill. But la. I think it's quite good la. for a card yes, to yes, play. Yes, yes. For for geo energy super combo, you get to play a five cost. It, it's really broken idea, really, but thank God it's limited to blue battle crew. Everybody around it. Yeah, correct. So thank but, God it's limit one also. Yeah, Imagine so that you know, only you're able time. to you're, you're only able to play it once. So like the most ideal is like you have two off in the in the in the deck. Then you draw it on, you use it on your turn, and you play it on your opponent's turn. This is also but not cool, so you probably can search with your a lot of tutors also. Yeah, uh, so it, it's probably will be played in Bardock and you'll give a very good boost to Bardock architect. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next card. The next card we have is uh, one of my favorite Zamasu teamwork undying unison card. Oh, this Zamasu is my favorite. It's my favorite blue unison right now. <laughs> Because it's our very first unison card with counter attack. Uh, so it's very interesting because it it opens up to us that oh unison are not just played during your turn. You are now moving on into a new era. You can counter attack with unisons. They are more future. We can see that they are gonna play counter attack, unison, counter play, unison. They are like unison that can play during your opponent turns. Yeah, so, I think I think it's a good start for where yeah. the game direction is going. Instead of like using battle cards or like extra cards to play, Unison start to take the take the take the, the role to be able to like uh to be able to like be part of play. And the fact that it, it's it's a very interesting card that it has a it it requires a spirit boost too. So basically that you have to have a unison prior to play, then it's a it has to be a blue unison card. So before you then after that you negate the attack. The fact that it is also pretty good because you play with four markers on it and he's a 19k. So it's not that easy to destroy this card also. Like if you really want to push your attacks through to remove the blue unisons. Yeah, so yeah, it's a very, so very it's interesting a blocker, card. So it's a very good defensive card also. So when you, after you negate, you still can block and attack. Like you said, it's 19k. Normally when your opponent attack you, it's going to be like 15, 15 if you're aggro. Yeah, correct. So uh, this, this is a very good, uh, it's a very good and interesting card to play with. In, in this in this deck, I feel. How good do you think the plus one is? I think it's like specified specific to like one leader Goku Black and. I I disagree. There's multiple leaders that you can uh use the plus one with. That let's say the magnificent collection Gogeta, you can sack an energy to draw two, and this allows you to draw one more. 
All and right, also, right. expert deck Android 21, the, you can sack an energy, draw a card, and then put the energy back. And this allows you to draw one more too. Yeah. So I think it's pretty good. Someone yeah, yeah, yeah. can swing again, do a attack. Exactly. Something like, correct, correct. Oh. So what of yeah. the activate mean actually? It says that, that you pay two blue. There's a Goku Black card under this card. Uh, you, you are All they right. talking about the Goku Black unison that was revealed in a few cards later? No, you uh, can. You can Goku Black. Uh, okay, well, we will go back. We will go to the Goku Black uh, ex- uh, battle card later, uh, which actually plays in line very smoothly with uh, this. This card, yeah. So mm. like for example, that I I personally think that for two energy and seven markers, you get to play Infinite Force a few Zamasu. It's a pretty strong card. Um, because the thing is that, that you know, like once uh in the past, if that card was normally on the board, you would just you would just pretty much lose the game already because there's no way to remove the card unless the only way is to re- minus power, and by far I think that it's unplayable. The card is made playable because of how convenient the activate mean is. Like it's only just two blue energy and you can play out the card. So, to be yeah. fair, this requires seven markers. Seven I don't really yeah, see correct. which seven marker that is really, uh, if you think about it. Because right now, there's nothing that allows you to take away your energy during your opponent's turn. Yeah, but correct. I but think the thing is that I think it's a, it's a viable, like it makes the, vi- the card more viable to play. Like be, it, it might not be easy, but you know, uh, yeah. at least the card gets to see some, the older cards get to see I some. I think light, it's uh. actually quite easy to do this because as I say, you negate this with four markers during your opponent turn, okay? Then during your turn, you play the Goku back, you put one under him, he's at five markers. Then end mm-hmm. of your turn, you sack an energy cause your Goku black, you have six markers. So yeah. during your next turn, the, the second, your second, your own second turn after you play him, he's at six markers. So if your opponent doesn't touch him at all, you can put one copy of him under, you can use Goku black to put one more markers. So there's potential of plus two markers to him also during your turn every single that turn. That is true. Actually, so, there's, so, there's so, also a line to put to play out. Uh, play, hey, there's actually a line that allows you to play out. Hey, play, to get seven markers on the turn itself, huh? Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a bit hard with Goku Black Leader because you don't set energy during, except until the end of your turn. That's true. Yeah. But, but then, then there's some place if you play other leaders like um. Uh, like your like your Gogeta and the uh, Damasu. Damasu, but I don't yeah. think you can put the Goku Black under him with, with, with no leaders. You can go and see the next card. Yeah, correct, correct. Maybe. Okay, so next card is Beku Might in the we, making. We skip this card. We go to the next card first. The next card. Okay. Yeah. Goku next Black. Card. Goku uh, Black. Yes. Ah, right. this is yeah, the yeah. one, right? So this is the card that was actually talked about uh just now earlier that it can be placed under the leader card. Hey, under the unison, unison card. Yeah. 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 That's why so, the the. the this only can be played with other than Goku Black. Uh, that is true. There's also only one Goku Black leader only right now. So, yeah, correct. Which is the set two one. So I, I kind of hope that they actually do release a new Goku. But Black then, leader. then again, this this better cut past the leader so much. I feel. Yeah. Because correct, correct. uh, let's say you're already awakened. When you play this, you can flip it back, flip your leader back to the original side. You can sec, uh, use your use the leader's activate main to put this Goku Black into your energy, and then you can awaken again, which allows you to draw too. So, I think it's a good cycle card at least. So this yeah, card is basically uh help you charge one energy, draw two card, swing for fifteen k. So, yeah, everything you want is pretty okay. Yes, correct. The fact that the fact that you don't actually play the you don't actually play the game at like. You don't actually flip at like four life now, so generally it is. So technically, it's pretty it... safe. Uh. I I'll I'll say that it make, this card kind of make the whole Goku Black the two drop, eh, the whole Goku Black like the the old Goku Black leader very very playable. Yeah, because this is yeah. like one energy, fifteen k swing one time, draw two cards. So, yes, correct, correct. So it's okay. One energy draw two cards is always good. Yeah. How high did they scale the Goku Black playability with this card? Like, is it uh, like really very playable? Think... Still not playable, very high, but along with okay, the I, I don't, I wouldn't like, call it like yeah, I won't call like this this whole uh like the playability being there, but it can be seen in like a more casual setting, it more more in a casual setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like, like if you go down to yeah. maybe tier three, tier four, like you are playing your casuals and the locals. Goku Black actually playable. You can actually win games with it. Yeah. The, I, I like the in the past where you just just lose lah, but mm. you can you can you can actually <laughs> win games with. The new Goku Black the, and Yeah, correct, correct. Like everything is like super, super like 
it makes the it pushes the deck up by quite a lot. Because, so uh, we are hoping by, to by see more Goku up. Black cards released that will complement the deck. Uh. Maybe this is just the first step, I hope, because there's really not a Goku Black leader ever since that very first one, I think. Every, they released a unit. If you are the leader, they, they like give all the leader. Back then, when Jenna was released with, along with the leader, he was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. correct. Free ramp is always good, guys. Yep, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the Veku. Uh, yeah, go yeah, let's go the back Veku. to the Veku. Veku. Yep, might in yep. the making. Okay. Uh, this Veku, I think it sucks. Uh. I need thoughts on about it. Um, mm. Alright, okay. For this Veku, this is how I feel about it. it it's kind of lacking. Because, uh, like, you just play this Kuchita Pursuit of Power. It's not necessarily, like, the best blue unison to actually play it off from. I mean, you get to play with three markers. That's a plus. But then, um, the the cut the cut itself doesn't really actually do much. Uh, for the the for the unis for the unison effect, so could have been better. And I I think if you really want to, want to cycle your hand or what, um, uh, that would be the play. But uh, I don't I don't really and I don't really like this cut personally. Yeah, as well. maybe uh, either. honestly, if you want just want to cycle your hand, there's way better cuts rather than this Beku to do the job. Yeah, correct, correct. This so, this Veku, I think they designed it for the Vegito leader, the starter deck Vegito leader, because it's a blocker. So when when it dies, it does something. Yeah. But I don't think the Vegito leader is very reasonable to run Goku via and Vegeta via. After yeah, all, they correct, are all mainly red cards. Correct. So, so like the the fact that because they are red cards and the 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 whole Vegito leader actually encourages blue cards to be destroyed. It's uh, that then we you get a net you get a plus off the leader yeah. leader's effect. It's kind of counterintuitive lah to try to try to play that. I yeah. I mean it's still decent. It's just that the, yeah it the, is a it is not what I call like a decent card. It's not this like really, card really cool. actually fits in the deck quite well. The problem is the cost. You need to mm. play Goku Bia and Vegeta Bia in your deck, which there aren't any good ones to play in the Vegeto deck. Yeah. So you unless, have to run unless in the future, the unless, yeah, the unless in the future more. Yeah, they, they, blue, they create like blue yeah. Goku Bias and Vegeta Bias. I don't I don't see it like So it, it, it may it may come back in the come back in the future la, if you yeah. print out more blue stuff. Yeah. It seems to be targeting the Gogeta Pursuit of Power to those the, the Unison card, right? From the starter yeah, deck. Yeah, and, and, and the Unison correct. is not very good, so So like there are there are actually better cards that you can play, like, uh, like for example, mm-hmm. even even like the new Tapion or like Baby Unison. There's so many other blue better. I mean, blue free, cards free, free, good. free playing Unison is fine, but the, the cost of this card is is too situational. You you like, every time you play the deck, you won't be able to play him on turn two most of the time because you just doesn't join into one Goku VR, mm-hmm. one Vegeta VR and himself. Yeah, correct. So the only deck that actually draws him is uh the blue the... Gogeta. But the blue Gogeta doesn't really need this card. They have other vehicles that they need to play, they want to play. Yep. The one from the Magnificent Collection, the yep, promo yep. starter, right? Yeah, yep. yeah, yep. If you play this card in, let's say, the Magnificent Collection leader, then the Gogeta Pursuit of Power isn't very good because the leader doesn't fit well with the the, the unison. Then, on uh, the other hand, the leader that fits well, the, 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 the cost of this card doesn't fit well. So, so that it's yeah. a pretty mismatch cost and effect, you know? Correct, correct. Yeah, so I don't think this card will play at all uh, until they print out more blue Goku Bia for Gita Bia. Yeah, yeah, currently probably yeah, this that, that goes would be, to the very interesting to, to see though in the future. Okay, yeah. next card. Right, next, next card. card. Uh, Broly right. Saiyan Instinct. Yep. Okay. Let Chijen talk about this. I think he's yeah, favorite so leader, Chila This Broly is going to be buffing the Chila and Limo wish leader. This card is fantastic because it allows you to take when you play this card, it allows you to take two Dragon Ball, place it into a drop area, and draw a card. And uh, and uh, when you activate when this card is uh when you activate main on a desire card, uh green desire card, it reduces the cost by extra a green. card <laughs> extra card with desire. Yeah. So so there's the uh. Ec- which, which expression was it? Was it also anniversary? The older anniversary. The Allied card? Reinforcements yeah, yeah. Uh, card is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allied yeah, Reinforcements. Right, exactly. right. You you can you can only pay one and uh, by stacking away this card, which means your board's gonna be empty. You can play a Broly and a Chirai or Limo from your deck, which is pretty good. And you will have one one energy remaining afterwards. So it allows uh, allows you to have more plays basically, and allows you to be able to awaken very very quickly. 
Yeah. Mm. So okay. yeah, this this card in general is actually quite good. Yeah. The fact that the fact that it reduces the activate mean skill by one or so. So it's just in it's just, com- combination with the promo. Yeah, correct. The with new the new promo. promos and stuff, is you can you can you can find six boss by turn turn uh turn two. two. Yeah. Turn, yeah. Turn one you're finding a boy with your leader. Okay. Turn two you can play this and you can find two balls. So that's three balls. Then your leader can find another ball turn two, so it's four balls. Then when you use an uh, allied reinforcement, oh, it only costs one. So this guy costs one, the allied reinforcement costs one. And the fact that after you activate the desire, you bottom deck this guy. So your board is considered empty. You are allowed to play a, a glory BR from your deck. So mm. you can play the, the championship one that finds you another two balls. So practically, you by turn two, you are almost guaranteed to get six balls. So you just need to draw one ball naturally of the six, five draws you have. But this guy draw one, the other four, five balls draw you five cards. You just need to draw one ball naturally, you can flip turn two. So it makes Chilai Limo very consistent to flip turn two. Mm. Yeah. So anything else, Jin? Nope. We can so, move on to the next card. Yeah, I, yeah, I think we can move on to the next card. Okay, next card. Encountering the... No, this is also a one drop. Right? One mm. drop extra card that you can use that you can use uh, this card's uh, skill to activate, but no, but this is not a desire, so you can't reduce the cost. Of oh, this. yeah, I just realized that there are 70 years. I just saw the one cost, and mm. we all right, it's a broly attacking that that spider thing. <laughs> <And> one, <laughs> uh, kind of on the fence with this one, it doesn't really feel that good because. For a limitation of a leader, uh, for a card to have a leader limitation of either a Chilai PR leader or Yellow Broly leader, the skill, the, the effects seem very meh. Mm, yeah. The... Normally, normally, if you have so much limitations, the effects will be so good. Like, for example, if you take Cobra last year, your leader has to be a Freeza army and it allows you to negate the skill of your opponent better card than when he played out. This mm. one just allows you, it is a limit one. And he has a leader limitation. It just allows you to choose up to one of your opponent's killer's card in rest mode and kill it. And just to draw a card. The thing is that... Um, why skillers though? Actually, why is it like... Why you yeah, choose a point. skillers of all... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The, the thing is there's very little cards in Chilai and Broly that negate his opponent. Maybe Broly has a bit more. Broly has cold blood. Lah. But that's, that's about it. And you, so, and you no. must, it must also be in rest mode, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, because it activate better timing, mean, you can use it to, if your opponent is attacking with something that, that is with skills negated, you can activate better to kill it, lah, but, but mm. I don't see the point because your deck doesn't really have stuff that negates. By the way, is a, is a token counted as a skillless battle card? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. so... People are not going to all in with tokens, so... So yeah. it, it doesn't really matter of that effect. But the second effect of choosing the one yellow broly in a better area is much better. Mm-hmm. Because um the arrival there's, there's, uh, there's this one card there's a uh, arrival six drop broly. Yeah, that, six, six, uh, when you activate when you when this card is switched to active, you can choose between two effects. So if I'm the, the two effects are actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, one of them yeah. is you can you can choose one better card of energy cost greater or equal to their current energy and KO it. So it's practically like the the first part of the skill. You can just kill something. I can't kill mm-hmm. an attacking card that is... That's yeah, going to kill you up. or that's going to end your game you. like that. Yeah. The other effect is you can draw one card. Then you can rest one of opponent battle card, uh, opponent cards to a rest mode. So you can ch- uh, switch your energy. You can switch another... You can switch your leader. You can switch your unison. So... Yeah. You, well, the biggest... Better timing, right? means you can have a yellow body on the, the, the arrival body on the board. I can use this effect again during our turn. Yeah, I, th- I think that the biggest problem is that my biggest gripe is that the, it is specific leaders. So it's a Chilai and a Yellow Broly. So like um, I felt that it could have been like a Frieza army card. Uh, it might actually be like a lot more better because of like the different type of plays or uh, the different type of other leaders that you are able to use instead of like these two specific leaders. But uh, kind of unsure of the fact like, what what they're going for for this thing. So uh yeah, la. uh yeah, to me it's 
this uh is a card that I don't really like personally. It's like they were trying to oppose a certain skillless deck. Was it the Gohan last time? They have a lot of things that kill yes. skillless. Yeah, yeah, yeah correct. This, right. uh, this current anniversary box they have a lot of cards that interact with skillless. Yeah, so which is which is quite weird, uh, yeah. I don't think I don't think this card is good. Okay, moving on next card. Okay, next card. Broly Omen of Evolution. I am Broly expert. Alright. Uh for this card, uh, I'm actually on the fence. Uh as well. Because the thing is that for this card, right? Uh yes, it's a Broly VR card. It it, it removes oh okay, so basically the whole effect is that activate battle, place this card in the owner's drop area from your combo area and choose up to one battle card combo cost zero. From uh, uh, of your opponent's combo area and place it in the owner's drop area. So, why I don't really like this card is that because the the scenarios that you can use this on is very too very specific. So the only viable cards that uh, I, the uh, the only viable cards that you can actually remove, which is what I feel personally, is Napa. So because the thing is that you only that's the only card that plays off uh, after you combo, after you combo. Uh, it's only combo cost of zero yeah, that after that. Yeah. So, okay, it's... the problem is also that it is a 5k combo and uh, oh, you only, you, your, this is a super combo target remover. So, if your leader, okay, so when I, when I looked at it, the first thought was that, oh, maybe you can put this in body search, but it doesn't make sense because, let's say, for example, if I would combo this card and somebody were to actually use a super combo, I mean, it was still my Broly leader can draw off this if cuts effect, but I was uh, the odds of me taking the damage will still be there it's because the thing is my leader is still at ten k. I don't actually block because the cut will be placed in the combo area as well. So I, I don't really area, yeah in the draw area as well. So it's still a ten k. It's still a ten k leader up to, up until yeah. the end. So yeah. I I don't I don't really see like the the plus value of this cut. Uh, yeah, the fact that yeah. it only affects stuff with combo cost of zero means. The scenario that it is used is quite limited. Mm, so like it, it gets mm. value is quite limited. It, it, it can be like one for one every time. Uh, but to gain value one for two to give it more value, it, it's very rare. Yeah. And it has right. no other effect other than the combo. Yeah. So, so, so to be fair, if other people is, are using super combo, they probably already gain the value of it. Like if you're gonna use a multicolor, they're gonna mm-hmm. arrive at something maybe, or they're gonna draw yeah. a card already. But you're just comboing and stacking. So yeah. yeah the, 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 I think I think. Of, the, the bet the the problem is the the fact that it's activate battle because activate battle means that oh your opponent has already done everything that they needed to do, like off yeah, the super combo already. But this still a five k combo that that matches a ten k. So yeah, correct. So only defensively. Yeah. Yeah. Only, yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's another point. It's only defensively. So may see play, but unlikely. Yeah, yeah, it's very it's very unlikely to be used, lah. That's how I see it. Yeah, the first thing I thought of this card is also like a super combo interrupter, but the fact that it has to go to your drop area during your combo phase, uh, that yeah, really yeah, takes yeah. a lot out of it. Correct, correct, I mean, correct. you still use a 5k to block a 10k, but I mean... I mean, I mean, it could be paired with the Paragus from an older expansion. You can combo both of them, and then arrive at something, sack both of them, and gain, and draw some cards, I guess. It's, it's yeah. back, back, back then, when, when there wasn't multi-color, uh, yeah. uh, super combos, people used to like to use them to to mm. arrival stuff out then you set them to the to the uh drop area yeah so it may be used maybe that way yeah. either but it's the right old school way of arriving people yeah correct so people yeah. like people will like already use the super combo the effects yeah, is yeah. already done the whatever the arrivals will, has already appeared so I, I don't see the i don't see like the plus value of this card lah. so yeah it's still situation yeah okay Thanks. moving on uh, Lord Slug Conqueror's Claim. Yeah, our, lo- our local Lord Slug expert. This card, to be honest, this card is okay because as a Lord Slug player, you want opponent to draw more cards, you want to deck them out. And this card is one of the few cards that when you play it, you have opponent draw one. And they don't get the option to bottom deck the card. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so it's, it's, right, it's right. like a mill that you draw one more. And the fact that this guy is a 25k no attack, it helps you to clear units and help you clear board. Mm. So at, at turn 3, you can play this. Because you can play this for free. There's a one job, not start, they can play this for free. So when you play this for free, you can just start swinging at opponent's unison, swing at his board, to clear the board. What does the bond, the bond 2 skill do again? Uh? The bond 2 means kill. you must have 2 battle cards in the battle area. It means him plus another one. It counts himself. So he must have another battle card in the battle area to gain the effect. 
Ah, I see. Um, so uh, when you play Lost Lab, you have many many things on board. You have tokens. You have uh one job. Uh, you have block free blockers. You have stuff on the board. So the Ponto is very easy to fulfill. So is uh, as long as it's two cards, including yes. or excluding him. Including, including him, it doesn't oh, have to be yeah. another locked slug or it's just oh, any two oh, better. It's cards. just anything. Because uh, then, then some of the bond two there's a specific target like bond two the Megans, bond two slug army. For this specific card, it's just bond two, so just two better cards. And tokens count as better cards, so it just works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this 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 card is actually the I think by far the best green card in the whole in the whole. Uh, uh, it, uh, for lock slug, yes. Yeah. Still, you only get the permanent at three or more energy, so you can't use this to turn two for the unisons. Mm. But in general, it's still a, a a card that I'll play two of three of in the Lost Luck deck, so it's not that bad. Mm. Uh, at least it's playable. Okay. And this guy also comes out at turn three, also he's a three cross, right? Uh, no, he's the, a the three cross. Is, uh, you're not playing. You're never playing three cross for this guy. Yeah. Ah. If you play yeah. three cross for this guy, this guy sucks. Simple as that. So it comes but out through another skill. Yes, Lost Slug, there's a one job that if you open have seven or more cards, you can play out a 19k or less, less uh, Lost Slug for free. Mm. Ah, okay. so, so by doing that, you can play it out for free. The opponent draws a card, he draws a card, then he can, he can appear out for zero energy drinks. And that will likely happen on turn one, uh, probably turn two, right, I assume? Yeah, but if you're coming out on turn two, turn three, uh, turn one or turn two, it's not very good because it doesn't get to attack. But post turn three will be good. But don't worry, turn one, turn two, you have other targets for the leader. So it's like turn one, turn two, you play other cards. Turn three, you play him. So, so, so there's a there's a step to it. So I yeah. would say this card is. Better. Yeah, I think playing him on turn three is good also because I mean he doesn't have barrier, he doesn't have deflect. So the yeah. fact that you you the, the way not stuck is played is like stalling. So so this guy is good to uh board clear, hand clear, uh, mm. clear, unison clear, unison clear very important. I think the fact that it's also like the, the, the condition for Bond 2 is also actually quite easy to hit. It's not necessary at all. Yep. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay, okay next things. card. Bulma to incite a sneeze. Ah, hey, lo- our local launch player. Uh, our local launch player, please. Honestly, I think this card is pretty bad. <laughs> because Too much words or? <laughs> no, honestly, because, uh, okay. Normally, when someone plays launch, they are either gonna play a red green launch or a red blue launch. Mount, uh, a mono red launch is very rare. So and also to play, uh, this uh, effect allows you to add a marker to a one k red units, one k power red units, which is pretty much very little not or not uh, play on the bomber. And so only the bomber that synergizes with the launch deck basically. But I don't think it's that useful, and not only so. Once you once you use the cast effect, you can't play multicolor battle cards for the game. For the game, not for the turn, which makes the deck pretty pretty bad. Because normally you're gonna play aggro or like semi mill something like that with uh, launch. uh the Pico- uh, yeah in launch deck like with the piccolo junior or like with a cooler engine. But with the inability to play multicolor cards really makes it quite bad. Did you so, see the second 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 effect is um. When face up red battle cards are played in your life. So mm. far, there's like eight cards, seven cards, or six cards. Uh, there's a lot of cards that allows launch to play battle cards on the life. But I played Blood Lunch like 20, 30 games. I have not seen a single person play a card from their life. That's exactly the right. yeah, they built the engine for them, but nobody uses the engine because it sucks. Mm. You're paying energy for 15k cars, 10k cars, you're like, it's very situational, they are lousy, nobody plays them. The probably the engine is still being in construction as we speak. Uh. No, the launch engine no, no, is no. just bad. Yeah, like, the launch, like, like, like the, the, the way they for design. The leader, not for yeah. the engine, the engine itself is bad. Exactly, the leader is good, but the engine really, we just play something else, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the flipping part the is the... The the effects don't actually warrant the cost and the fact that it has to be a life it makes the makes the whole engine actually very RNG. So like in, in Dragon Ball you cannot really rely on RNG too much. That's the that's the that's the thing. And uh the fact that the the whole your whole deck relies on RNG, uh because it becomes that the whole engine is that as good as it seems. Because if you don't see the card that you need at that point of time, you pretty much will lose the game at that point. So it's just, it's yeah. Just 
Yeah, so it's, it's actually quite bad. Yeah. Nobody will play this card. Nobody. Nobody. I agree. Nobody. Unless unless we are gonna play in a very casual setting. No no overpowered cards. You're gonna run a mono yes, range yes, dodge. Yes. Maybe like with your friends, maybe. Yeah. I like think it is close to the worst card in the anniversary box. No, but I why why that. launch yeah, though? This is, this is like, something I agree. Yeah, I mean like why launch? I mean they say it's a red earthling only and the card is a Bulma card. So I mean uh, will uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Yamcha? <laughs> There's only there's only one launch. I mean, okay. The, okay, this is oh, like the, the only reason one why we are saying is flip lies. Flip exactly. Flip your life. Yeah. So if you're not playing launch to flip life, this then there's there's no point. See, when the cut in your life is flip face up. So launch is the only leader that flip the life face up. So you're talking about other earthling leader, but they don't flip the life face up. So, so yeah, ah, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> means this not playing their deck. Mm. So this is by far the worst worst the cut in the uh any box. So okay, let's so let's move to the next one. The best uh, card. SS Super Saiyan Song Goku Might in the Making. Uh, Goku Bia card. Okay. Yes, LC, please. Alright, so uh, personally, I really like this card a lot because the thing is that it, uh, this card actually is basically a Union Fusion target for Blue Saiyans. So um, it, the fact that it untaps the energy it reminds me of the starter deck, the Gogeta. And you know how much started the uh-huh. the Gogeta actually was like very, very very effective on, um, but then the thing is uh that this is only being played with the blue Gogeta variant the uh, of the ram and playing to the pursuit of uh playing into the ten drop uh, Gogeta, but I just feel that in terms of potential of uh this card's ability to enhance the deck by by crazy much. It really does because the thing is that it, your Veku doesn't actually, uh, your Veku you're playing it at a three cost, but it playing it at two cost and you still have one more open energy, so it really um helps with the with the deck building, and it really is, uh, helps with like in terms of defense and uh, offense as well. I think yeah. this card is broken not just because the fact that you want that one. It's not the fact that you look at if you look at the next card that we're gonna show you. Yes, correct. It's so it actually, it actually very, very ties well. in very well with the next card, uh, which you can we can go. And into. yeah, you can go to the next card. Okay, so this next card is actually uh the card that is the reason why this uh Goku is good. It's because that okay um this card has deflect a counterplay. So during your opponent, this card is reduced. Uh, the the card cost is actually reduced uh by one in your hand. So. Basically, this is a one-cost card. So, what, what you do when you play the card is that choose one blue Veku BR in your battle area and kill it. So, when you play this card, choose up to one red Goku, eh, one red Goku with 10,000 power or less from your deck and play it. Then shuffle your deck. So, why would I say that it's good? Because when you have one open energy with the 3-drop Veku, uh, it, the person will to play it down anything. Just anything. You can play out this card, set your own Veku, take the two cards take the two cards from the take the fusion material you let yourself ramp then you look at the the, the deck look into the deck choose a, any 10k great song, great song Goku BR which is like a lot of targets you can have the searcher you can have the union fusion material that kind of thing so, you can have the card that was revealed just now yes, that guy correct. has a secret activate better minus 10k nobody knows yeah, but correct, if correct. you play out with the Vegeta it's another thing that it's like oh my opponent swing is like a free 10k combo every time Mm-hmm. So so it's pretty gay. You still have to remove small tiny winnies. Correct. And the correct. fact that this card has deflect means you cannot counterplay the like counterplay. No more actually, my guy. Actually, I'm pretty curious. So what if your opponent okay, let's say you have the Veku on board. Yes. What if your opponent arrives out a cooler? And then you counterplay with this. Do you pay the cost for the by KOing your Veku uh, first? Or do you resolve the, the you cooler first? You will resolve the cooler first because yeah, the, the, cool, the, the driver on this. Will cooler first. But yeah. the thing is, you don't you have to pay the cost for this Vegeta first? To, the cost to, is to, to play this card. The no, no, no. no. The be... counterplay is to play this card. But when you play this card, you 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 have to pay the cost. No, of... no you only pay the cost upon uh, activation. Mm. So you enter pending. Cooler one enter pending. But I'm the cooler player. Uh, so I'll enough. resolve my auto yeah, first. Right. When you are when it's your turn to resolve the auto, the vehicle is dead. Fair enough. So yeah. guys, 
Don't don't play, don't counterplay when opponents arrive for a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? This card will also get removed if you use exactly. a cooler. <laughs> yes, and you don't get to play the Goku up. <laughs> yeah, correct. All right. So, so be careful against the cooler. Which specific cooler though? The, the fire cooler. Drop cooler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got that. No taken. Yeah. So like I feel that I feel that the fact that these two cards actually synergizes with each other, the Goku and the Vegeta, is it, it speaks it speaks volumes in terms of like uh how well the deck can be enhanced. You see, Banda is it's very nice. They yes. give it the worst card in the anniversary box, followed by the two best cards in the anniversary box. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so they they're like they're like, they're like putting red players on a roller coaster. Yeah. So uh, I believe I believe that this actually boosted the deck by this these two cards actually boosted the deck uh by itself by a lot. I because the thing is because yes. there's a lot of players like, oh if you play the Veko up, I will just not attack you. And the Veko will just sit there forever until I when when you get ready to kill yeah, you. Correct, correct. But this will enable you to oh you don't kill him, I kill myself. Yes, then other than that, I'll, I'll have the effect pro, I will still ram. Uh, and so, I still get a lot of value. And the thing yeah, is, the right, whole right. thing is so freaking well. You open that one energy for him and other stuff like that, it's too good. Yeah, correct. So, like, you, when your opponents decide to go stall, like, they will definitely go to the point that uh, they will play something. Even, even playing a unison, you can also play this card. So... It's just it is just really really uh good for to boost the whole uh engine for the yeah. for the Veku and the fact that it's RAM, you can use most of your blue cards. We can actually. move on to the next card, which is my favorite card of the the set. Yeah. Big growing Cyberman. 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 Because Cyberman is a very good. Fun architect in Napa leader where you play mm-hmm. as many Cyberman as you want. This adds another dimension, another layer of of uh, how to say of flexibility into the deck. Because the Kankan Cyberman are uh, all used to kill kill battle cards, or they kill 10k or less. But this one allows you to minus 10k to unisons. So if you play multiple copies of this, you can you can like literally kill unisons all by themselves. Oh, so mm. the Zamasu will just take two of these guys to poof. Yeah, yeah but it, just loses one marker, loses one marker, loses one marker, but, yeah. but everything helps. Every small thing helps because you can be sacking like two to three Cybermen every turn. Two, no, that's true. Two to four every turn, right. so it's a, it's a minus two marker, minus two marker. Also, okay, can we also, just, like, can we just you, even if you just kill one, you can start punching the unison also because it's already minus 10k with like smaller stuff. But the thing yeah. is, they'll get back the power after they... Yeah, uh, afterwards. Yeah. But, but it helps you to have more... Different options in your Cyberman deck. Yeah, I think the best part is the permanent. Yeah, you can just include as many copies as you want. So, yep, yep. so, <laughs> so yeah, more options you can have. Put, you can put yellow Cyberman, red Cyberman. You can put like yeah, a lot we of just we just shot of a blue a good blue Cyberman. But still, I think this is just okay. You still prefer the other Cyberman, but it, it has another death and option in that building. So, so, I like this type of cards because they are not broken, but they make makes you think on what you want to make put in your deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like okay, next card. Comment. So we can go for the next card. Okay. King Cole, so Blessing King of the Cole. Cat. Alright. I think this is the card that uh, the free, a lot the, of prison freezer players prison are looking freezer. for, man. Your yes. super combo is finally here, guys. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to just run half awakening. <laughs> yeah, I think by far this is like the, the only card that they are actually looking for that actually boosts the deck by a lot. The, the only setback is that it's uh three or less life. Like, I mean, by then, I think the only setback is limit one. Well, okay, yeah, but it's true, the cool. three or less life is okay because a lot of people are gonna punch you the three or less life, so it's fine. But the, the, the limit yeah. one means, means you are you're limited to only one super combo at the mm-hmm. yeah. But, but um, honestly, how do you guys find the card? I think it's kind of on a weird spot. Because it's either that you get the value immediately by activating better, like using a Frieza death ball, or you have to wait for another attack and then use a counter, which might not even happen. It, it's fine mm-hmm. because, because as Frieza prison, how, how the deck plays now, as long as you have a card to help you stay alive longer, it, it's good. And the fact that they have no other super combo in their deck, so... It's like auto that is true. Mm, so, so it, correct, it does, correct. doesn't really matter whether you can use it immediately or not. But like what I said, there are many things that you can use immediately. You can use Rina Death more immediately. You can use um, 
Or you can use like basically violent rays, that kind of thing. Yeah, you can use violent rays uh, and you get but yeah, there's quite a few mono rip extra card that you can use immediately. So yeah. right after super combo, but as long as it's zero plus ten K, I think a lot of Riza player uh Riza Riza player will like really yeah. appreciate it. Because they yeah. actually have been working without super combos the whole game. Yeah, whole correct, life. right. Even if you don't I, use the the, the comments the comments are like oh finally <laughs> or oh, finally yeah. Frieza, <laughs> the Frieza Frieza uh, the Frieza yeah. Frieza finally has a super combo Even like you know, that's the biggest the problem one, right? just the fact that it's 0 plus 10k it's a boost to the deck yeah, yeah. I think your deck 0 plus 10k is a boost to the deck because the deck doesn't have a 0 plus 10k you have to use Karma Awakening for guys yeah correct but correct. they still can use Karma Awakening along with this super combo so yeah so it's really a huge boost to that. But remember, the order matters. If you use this super combo and then Kaba's Awakening, you waste the effects. Uh, it's fine, I think. Yeah, correct. And we, like this card also doesn't fill your job because after you combo it, it yeah. removes all the game. Yeah. yeah. I think they're like thinking yes, the He has the fugest treatment. <laughs> people think they're like preventing crazy people from recycling it like us. Uh, we love to recycle combo combo. Friday. Okay, Friday. Then when all the other cards come out, and then we can give a final conclusion of the next set of a uh, next batch of uh, anniversary uh, cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. So far, I think that the, the three colors that have been released, uh, green has been pretty disappointing, I feel. Uh, but the other two colors were actually very, very interesting. So green was uh, uh, definitely green. shining today. Yes. Uh, I mean, so the two cards. The cards. Yes. Uh, among, but among all the green cards, I think Lot Stark is like by far the best, the, one of the best cards uh, in, in the. What, what, uh, Slug and the Broly are the two better cards in, in the set. Uh. The blue and cards are uh, took I think away. That blue has the best yeah. boost out of the all. Yeah, correct, correct. Blue has the best. Actually, I. Yeah, la, some specific decks like Bardock Crew. They've been throwing support at Bardock Crew every single set, but nobody's been playing. Yep. Mm, correct. They're continuing like, more Bardock, more play Bardock, but I think nobody likes Bardock as well. Yeah. But but I feel that the the battle of super combo will start to make people think twice. Uh, think think twice about playing into a new archetype. It probably will be coming to... up to standard with the Bardock decks out yes, there. Yes, correct. I correct. definitely want to play the deck, but I just don't have the card. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we just don't have all the blue yellow Bardocks. But... Yeah. Okay, I made cool. like five versions of them, but I really don't have this card. This card. Okay. I guess I'll talk like them. It's okay. Elski has some now. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for Elski to use the Broly cards in his uh, next fight night. <laughs> uh, I, I won't be using any of them. <laughs> like, why, why not? Because the thing is, uh, my, my, I'll be playing like... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking to look into another different different team to go Why, into. why, why? You can, you can, yeah. Now you play finish your red Broly, your green Broly, your red Broly. Time yeah. to move on to yellow Broly. And Broly BR, green. Ah, now you try to play green, yellow Broly BR, yellow Broly BR. I don't know, but you already played the red Broly BR. Yeah, correct, correct. So, okay. uh, Yep. So, I guess this concludes the first batch of the uh, Special Anniversary Box 2021. Uh, reveal. Thanks everyone for joining us in uh, reveal in watching our reveals for the card and getting an Asian perspective of how we feel uh, these cards may help your decks. And uh, let's uh, thank uh, Elski, uh, Pro An, yep. and uh, QJ for assisting me with this uh, in-depth uh, FAQ session. And uh, deck deck uh, archetype. Over. I mean, it's not really archetype. Over. It's just a card reveal. Uh. So yeah. Uh, and likewise, if you ha- if you guys have any opinions or video requests from for our Asia perspective, uh, perspective, just let me know in the comments. Like if this video seems productive to you, and uh, s- do subscribe to us to stay up to date with uh, more of these contents. And uh, yep, this video is brought to you by the Game Academy Singapore and Team GA one three two eight. Now we are really one three two eight because we filled up all that numbers, didn't we? <laughs> right? Okay. Thanks, guys. See you again next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.